Welcome into another Locked On NFL Insider Report. I'm your host, Kainani Stevens, joined by Daniel Wade from Locked On Chargers. We've had a lot of news in the NFL this week, a lot of big names. We had our first big defensive name, I guess you could say, today. And Khalil Mack, who many people are aware of, when you heard this news today that not only Khalil Mack was moving, but he was coming to your team, what was your immediate thoughts there, Daniel? Shock. I mean, for sure. that That's the first thing that came to mind, just because it's not – what Tom Telesco normally does, right? It's very out of character for him. Easily the biggest player he's ever acquired. And I mean, in franchise history, maybe the best veteran superstar player this team has ever acquired. So I don't know if there's any other way to react to it other than shock because we knew there was needs on that side of the ball. We just didn't know this was the way they were going to go about addressing it. And then to see um, some of the terms of it as well, to see, you know, maybe what are you gonna have to give give up to get him because that could be a hefty price tag but really two picks is second and then a later round pick as well so is that kind of like a win-win as far as you're concerned I mean it's highway robbery as far as I'm concerned (laughs) just because this isn't a one-year rental player right he's under contract for three seasons so you're getting to match him up with Joey Bosa another perennial you know pro bowl player for the next three seasons and giving him his best running mate he's ever played with. So to only use a second round pick this year when it's hard to imagine in any reality that you're going to get that kind of impact player with pick 48, it just doesn't happen like that. Just to, to throw in a sixth round pick in 2023, I mean, I was shocked that that's all it took to bring in that caliber of a player. Um, obviously, we know Joey Bosa, the defense has a playmaker in that regard. But what is Khalil going to bring to this team? How do you kind of see him fitting in? Obviously, he's a playmaker. But what is the defense going to look like going forward? So, I mean, he fits in perfectly opposite of Joey Bosa. They're both edge. If you call him outside linebackers, Brand Staley will yell at you. But you have two edge defender, bookmark edge defenders on both sides, two Pro Bowl players for a team that really needed to find a way to get off the field on third down. They were the worst third down team in the NFL last season and needed to really help generate a pass rush outside of Joey Bosa so you couldn't just focus all of your offensive line's attention on that one singular player. Now you have to pick one of those guys and good luck because you can't really single team either of those players. And I think the other thing here is just that you needed to find players that fit into what Brandon Staley's defense wants to be, right? And that's what they struggled with in year one, 27th ranked scoring defense in the NFL last year. There was a lot of room they had to improve. Now you're going with someone who you've seen in Brandon Staley's defense because Brandon Staley was his coach with the Chicago Bears in 2018. In that season, he had 12 and a half sacks, six forced fumbles, and only 14 games. So you know the fit makes a ton of sense. How does the money work on this? Um, Obviously changing, he had a a significant contract before kind of taking that on. Where does the money go? And is that going to hinder the team going forward at all? I mean, it definitely hurts the flexibility for you in free agency. Right now, the numbers floating around mid-20s, about $25 million still in salary cap space after bringing in Mike Williams and a $14 million cap hit and now bringing in Khalil Mack. There's a couple different things they can do. Even with that, I mean, they have Brian Bulaga, who's getting a roster bonus in March. It's hard to imagine he's still going to be on the roster when that comes around. That's going to free up another $10 million in cap space. And then you also have the ability to potentially restructure Khalil Mack's contract. And according to SpotTrack, they could potentially get that down to $4.4 million on a cap hit in 2022. Like, if that's the case, that's ridiculous, right? And so to get this player with potentially only that cap hit, while you still have Justin Herbert on that rookie contract, which makes everything much, much easier, I mean, I think that's a steal. Where does the team go from here? Is this the beginning of something, or is it now more like peace players for them? It is the beginning of something, because even with that, there's still, you know, Jeremy Fowler is out here saying that the defensive tackle market is still something they could attack in free agency. The corner market is something they could attack still in free agency. They've been linked to J.C. Jackson It's hard to imagine three deals that big in the span, you know, of a couple of weeks. But they could also go in on Javarius Ward from the Kansas City Chiefs, who might be a little bit more reasonable. They could try to attack Stephon Gilmore because that is the next place. I mean, the next two places really that they have to add to because Khalil Mack, unfortunately, doesn't fix this defense entirely. It's a great step in the right direction, but you need help on the interior. Your top three defensive tackles last year headed into unrestricted free agency. Limbaugh Joseph and Justin Jones being the main two and at cornerback you have Chris Harris Jr. who's probably moving on after a couple of years with the Chargers you have a prime spot at cornerback that has to get filled either through free agency or the draft but it seems like this is the beginning of the Chargers deciding to go all in right now 
it's definitely good to see. You like a big splash when the oh, yeah. free agency comes around and then obviously you got some other spots to fill, but this is definitely a good start. Daniel, thank you for joining me. I'm Kainani. This has been Locked On NFL.